Hey folks, PK here. So today I'm gonna go surf fishing with Clamnex and I'm not really a bait user, but uh, we're gonna try today and see what we can catch. From what people tell me, it works really well for red tail surf perch. So let's try it out. Um, I brought some uh, Clamnex, some cockles that I caught the other day. And so I'm just gonna use this. So this is gonna be a bait fishing video. So I got three hooks on here, uh, clam necks, these are cockles, and a size number two circle hook, and a two ounce weight, and this is tied onto a dropper loop. So yeah, let's do it. There we go, folks. I'm starting to feel better now. I'm starting to feel better now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. That's a good one. There comes a wave. Yes, right there. That's going to help me. It's all right, man. It's all right. There we go, folks. Oh, first fish of the day. That's after about three casts. That's a very awesome hook set. Right on the mouth. All right, buddy, hold on. Boy, that's a big fish. Okay, there he is. He's free. So, today, I was gonna fish with a uh, rooster tail, but I drove four hours to this beach and I realized I've got my rooster tail. So I'm very upset with myself, very, very angry at myself. However, I'm starting to feel better now. <laughs> I think today we're just going to do clam necks instead of the rooster tail. But the rooster tail is coming. You just wait. I'm going to come back here. So first fish, not bad. That was, like I said, probably my third cast. Good size too. Let's see how big he is. He is not bad. He's about 12 and 3 quarter. So almost 13 inches. There we go. There we go. Number two. Number two right off the bat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm feeling much better now, folks. Oh, that could be a good one. Could be a good one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't come off. Where are you? There you are. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, he's a little guy. Not very big, but hey, man. Awesome catch right there, woo! Okay, there we go, folks. Probably about five minutes apart, another fish. Nice. Oh, my line's all tangled up. Okay, buddy, hold on. There we go. Nice red tail. How big is he? All right, about 12 and a quarter. Not too bad. 12 and a quarter. All right, how big is a 12 and a quarter fish? Let's find out. So 12 and a quarter comes in. 1.15 pounds yep so 1.15 pounds hey folks if you want to know where to go surf fishing on the oregon coast i made a post on my website everylist.com and i'll put a link in the video description you can also find some other tips about surf fishing the oregon coast on my website oh there we go fish on wow Oh, that was very, very cool, man. Oh, did he come off? Dang it. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's still on. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, man, give me a wave. Give me a wave. There it is. There it is. That's a wave. That's a wave. Come on, buddy. Come on up. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. 
That's a big one. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, that's a big one, folks. Holy moly. Okay, folks, here we go. This is for sure the biggest of the day for me. That's a nice one right there. Look at that. Really nice. How big is he? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, buddy. He is. It's a she, actually. Wow. 14, 14 and three quarter. Almost 15 inches. Just shy of 15 inches. So let's say he's, he's 14 and a quarter. See how big he is. So it is 2.09. 2.09 pounds. Not bad. That's going to be a nice fillet right there, guys. Awesome. So number three, probably less than 20 minutes. Doing good, huh? I don't care if I've got my rooster tail, man. These bait work really good. There we go. There we go. There's another one. Yeah. Woo, what a hot morning. They are biting like crazy. Every five minutes, it's a fish. Baby, come up, come up, come up wherever you are. Let that wave bring it in. Oh, it's not a very big one, but hey, man, that's a fish. Doesn't matter. There we go. There we go, folks. See that? Okay, here we go, folks. Number four right there. Awesome. Working my way up. Yeah, doing really good. Boy, this bait worked out pretty good. I don't really care about my rooster tail anymore. <laughs> See, he's about 12, 12 inches. So about a pound, not too bad. Good eating size right there. Good filet, man. So that's, that's a number four. And I'm allowed 15, so I got 11 more to go. It is 7.45. I got here about 7-ish. Got on the water. First cast by 7.20. So doing pretty good. Okay, folks. So I think I have exhausted this area. I have... Uh, see how many fish I have. I have four. I have four big fish. So I'm just going to hop that way about 50 feet and change spot. The bite is kind of slowed down in this area. Hey folks, so when you're fishing at beach like this, it's a pretty steep beach. You can see the foam near the shore. That's where they usually hang out. There's another, uh, like a trough out there uh, where the waves are breaking. You're never going to reach that part unless you have a, like a bazooka. So you're not aiming for that spot. You're aiming where the foam is at, right near shore here. On a steep beach like this, that's where they hang out. When, that, when those waves crash, like right there, it stirs up a lot of sediments, a lot of uh, sand crabs, and that's where they're feeding. So when you're casting out, you just want to hold your bait right at that foam area. When you cast, you want to make sure you cast beyond the foam. And then just kind of make your line taut and just hold it there and that's it. You just wait for the bite. Depending on how uh, heavy your lure is, sorry, depending on how heavy your weight is, it's gonna move around in the foam. So that's fine, that's what you want. If you don't want it to move around, just use a heavy sinker, like a three ounce or more. But I just prefer a two ounce because it moves it around a lot more so you cover more water. All right, folks, so I am not feeling it on the clam necks anymore. For some reason, the bite just kind of died suddenly. 
on the clam necks. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to switch to the sandworms. So I got those four fish in about less than an hour actually, probably about 20-25 minutes. So I'm going to switch to the gulp sandworms and see how effective that is. So for these gulp sandworms right here, I uh, dried them out and they're kind of rubbery. Okay, as you can see there, it's kind of brownish, but I used them before, they still work really well. Okay, there we go. So same thing, three gulp sandworm, let's try it out. Oh, there we go, there we go. On the sandworm, finally. Holy moly, what a long lull. He feels good. Let's see if I can have a wave help me bring him in. There's a wave. There's a wave. Oh, I lost a good one last time. Don't come off, man. Don't come off. Yeah, I got him. I got him. There we go. Okay, number five right there. After about, probably about 40 minutes. That's a long time. Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go folks, finally on the gulf sandworm. He's probably about 11 inches right here, right there. Alright, so I want to put on like a clam neck. I'll put on two clam neck just to, just to have some fun, see which one they prefer. But so far, one on the gulf sandworm. It's been a, been a long time, about 40 minutes now. So I think I'm gonna make it one more fish and I get on out of here. There it is right there. That's the whole clam, folks. That's what I'm using. Cockle clams. It's a little bit messy, but you catch a lot more fish. And I'm just cutting off about that piece right there. That's probably about the size of your thumb. And I'm just gonna thread it. Uh, not like that start from this end so that's kind of big but trust me they can take that you can make it a little bit big it doesn't matter because they will take everything they love this this works better than the gulp sandworm usually now if you've been following my channel you kind of notice I don't use bait very often the best way to keep the clam necks on the hook is just to use spider thread and I wrap it about 10 to 15 times. Okay, so just like that. Don't worry about all that sand because it'll come off once it hits the water. There we go. This one looks kind of smelly, so that should be good, right? Alright, got a carefully bait this. If you bait it right, it'll stay on there a very long time. I usually don't fish bait, so I'm not just, I'm not very good at tying this on, but what you want, very important, what you want is to make sure that barb is exposed. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, gonna tie that on really well. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna tie two clam necks on and fish with one sandworm. It's supposed to rain today, but so far it's doing pretty good. No rain, light wind, it's supposed to be light wind all day. There we go. So that's all nice and smelly right there. Let's go try it out. The best time to catch these red tail surf perch is year round. There isn't really one month that's better than another month. What's more crucial is you want to look for an incoming high tide. You want to fish two hours before and two hours after high tide. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a fish. There's another one, guys. Fish on early morning bite oh did it come off oh shoot he came off 
Oh, wow. Wow, that's a hit. Oh, nice. What a hot morning. I love this morning. They are killing it. They are killing it. Woo! Oh, that feels like a good one. Well, maybe. That's probably just a wave. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. There we go. Not sure what number it is. Like once again, he took the clam neck and set it to gulp sandworm. Okay, folks, there it is. I lost count. I'm not sure what number it is. Beautiful looking fish. Beautiful. Man, I love that pink fin there. Once again, right on the lip. Probably gonna make it a couple more, then uh, we're going out of here. There it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's fish. That's fish. Holy moly. Oh man, that's a good hit. Holy moly. That was a good hit. Oh. Well, for a small fish, he hits pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, right there. That's not bad. Gotta love that hook set. Those circle hooks, guys, they work really nice. Okay, there we go, folks. There we go. Another nice fish. Look at that hook set. Look at that. Right on the lip. You cannot get a better hook set than that. That's why you should always use circle hooks when you're fishing bait. Pretty awesome. There we go. Beautiful looking fish. Ah. Oh. Yeah, fish on, finally. We'll make this my last fish. So I'm just curious, what did he take? The sandworm or the clam neck? Oh, come on. Oh, did it come off? No, no, still on. Haha, <laughs> yeah. He took the clam neck. There we go. This guy came in sideways. Not a bad fish right there. All right, folks, there we go. That's a nice fish. Okay, buddy. I think he's about 12. He took the clam neck again. There we go. Okay, we'll make this my last fish, folks. So this one is a male. Now, you can tell that's a male. You see that anal fin? There's a dip here. And if you put your finger here, you feel that little bump. That's the male part. The female, the anal fin is straight, okay? The male's got that little dip and a little bump right here. So that's how you can tell between a male and a female. Beautiful looking red tail, look at that. Man, had a lot of fun fishing this clam neck. So I usually don't fish bait, but it was a lot of fun today trying something different. That's all there is to it. Uh, number two circle hooks, uh, two ounce weight on a high-low rig. Nothing else to it. Very simple setup, catch you a lot of fish. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have fun fishing, tight line.